In this video, we'll do a proof of the sum of interior angle of a polygon using a visual method by splitting the polygon into triangles. As we know, a polygon is a closed shape made of straight line segments like this triangle, like this quadrilateral, like this shape. All of these are closed and made of a straight line segments. How do we name a polygon? Polygons are named based on the name of sides they have. For example, this a polygon is closed made of straight line segments. The same, all of these are closed, all of these made of straight line segments. If we have three sides, we call it triangle. If we have four sides, we call it quadrilateral. If we have five sides we called it pentagon if we have six sides you can see here one two three four five six if we have six sides we called it hexagon if we have seven sides for example like this it look like fish here this one two three four five six seven it's called heptagon and for simplicity we will just mention up to seven sides as we know, the interior angle of a triangle is 180 degrees, means that if we add this with this with this, if we take the sum of these three angles, we have the sum as 180 degrees. And we have already proved that in one of our previous videos. So the sum of these three angles is 180 degrees. If we have four sides, we call it quadrilateral. There are many types of quadrilateral like square, rectangle, and many shapes. So if we have just four sides, we call it quadrilateral. How can we calculate the sum of interior angles of this shape? Like here, one, two, three, four. How can we calculate the sum of these interior angles? The sum of these interior angles of this quadrilateral can be found by splitting it into two triangles. Let's delete this. Like this. You can see here we have two triangles, one, two. And we know from the previous one, which we have already proven that in our previous video, the interior angles of triangle is 180 degrees. And here we have two triangles. And here you can see here we have two angles. And here we have two angles. We don't need to know the value of these two angles. We just need to know the sum of these six angles interior of this shape. We just need to find this angle, this angle, this angle, this angle, this angle, and this angle. Of course, we know the sum of this interior angle is 180 degree and interior sum of this triangle is 180 degree so the sum of interior angles of this shape it's equal to multiply 180 degrees so it will be the answer here 2 multiple by 180 degree why because here we have two triangle we just need to know the measure of the sum of all of these angles which is 2 multiple by 180 degrees so it will be 360 degrees now for this pentagon how can we calculate the sum of interior angles of this pentagon this pentagon one side two three four five it has five sides how can we do it the same as this we just need to split it into triangles for example you can start from here from this vertex we know this vertex where two side meet so these two side meet here this is called vertex this point and of course you can start from any vertex you just need to draw diagonal from one or more vertices as needed so you don't need to start from here to here you can start from here to there but for me i prefer for the shape i prefer to start from here to here so how many triangle here we have one two three so how can we calculate the sum of these interior angles so just as simple as we have to multiply three because here we have three triangle multiply by 180 degrees so three multiply by 180 degrees it's very simple so it will be 
540 degrees now how can we calculate the sum of interior angles of this hexagon hexagon has six sides one two three four five six and of course as we know honeycomb cells in bees have a hexagon shape of course it's regular hexagon shape in honeycomb cells in bees now how can we calculate the sum of interior angles just we have to start from any vertex i will start from here as we know the vertex where the two sides meet for example here I will start from here to there, then from here to there, then from here to there. So how many triangles we have? One, two, three, four. So it will be four triangle multiplied by 180 degrees, which is the interior angles of each triangle. So the answer it will be 720. As we know, if we have seven sides, it's called heptagon. How many sides it has? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it has seven sides. It looks a little bit complicated to split it into triangle, but it's very simple to split it into triangle. As we know, a polygon can be divided into triangle by drawing diagonal from one or more vertices as needed. Let's split it. I will start, for example, from here to there. Then I will start from here i prefer to start from here to there now it's look like a fish now i will start from here this vertex to this then i will start from here to there so you can start from any vertex just you have to split it into triangles here we have one triangle two three four five so five triangles in this polygon heptagon polygon so we have five triangles, so five multiple by the interior angles of each triangle. So it will be five multiplied by 180 degrees. It will be 900 degrees. So each time we subtract two from the number of sides and multiply by 180 degrees. For example, three minus two will be 1 multiply 180 degrees so it will be 180 degrees so you can imagine here we have 1 and the same thing here if we subtract this 4 4 minus 2 multiply by 180 degrees it will be 360 degrees 5 subtracted by 2 so it will be 3 3 multiply by 180 degrees it will be 540 degrees and so on so each time we subtract 2 from the number of sides and multiply it by 180 degrees to find the sum of interior angles. So the formula it will be n minus 2 multiply by 180 degrees. So this is the formula for any polygon. Of course, it should be closed, made of a straight line segments. So the sum of interior angles of any polygon has n minus 2 n is the number of the side multiplied by 180 degrees so we have this formula to calculate any polygon so can we calculate the sum of interior angles of a 1002 sides polygon of course we can we just substitute n by 1002 so you can just substitute this one here so it will be 1002 minus 2 multiply by 180 degrees and we know 1002 minus 2 it will be 1000 we just multiply this 1000 by 180 degrees so it will be 180,000 degrees so it's very simple if we have one triangle it will be 180 degrees the sum of material angles if we have two triangle like here this quadrilateral so it will be the sum of interior angles of this shape because we have two triangles so it will be 360 degrees if we have a pentagon we can split it to three triangle so the answer it will be 540 degrees the sum of interior angles of this shape if we have hexagon it will be four triangle multiplied by 180 degrees so it will be 720 degrees if we have heptagon we can split it into five triangles and the sum of material angles of this shape it will be 900 degrees as we can see it's very simple to find the sum of material angles of any polygon
so we conclude that the sum of material angles of any polygon is a multiple of 180 degrees just to split the polygon into triangles to calculate it feel free to comment below if you have any question or suggestion about this video see you in the next video